Let's start with how this would look like when it's executed. The requester enters his name and can then decide if he wants to scan an invoice or if he wants to upload one. In this case, he uploads an existing one. Depending on his needs, he can also decide to rather scan it. When he's satisfied with the result, he can go ahead and submit it. After the automation extracted the information from the submitted invoice, the approver gets the request in his inbox and can review and approve it. Once the invoice is approved, the requester, in this case John Wick, gets a notification to his inbox that the invoice has been approved. So, how can I design this? Let's look at the design time starting in SAP Build Apps. With SAP Build Apps, you can flexibly build and adjust your application according to your needs, just using drag and drop, and define your own look and feel, fields and labels. You can easily add navigation events to connect different pages. In this case, the application we built has two pages, the home page to enter the name and the details page where the requester can upload the documents. We have two data connections that will be called by on clicking the submit button, one for uploading the scanned file to the document management service and one to send the information to the workflow. We pre-configured these connections to make them available for record creation. We add some context to assign an individual file name for the uploaded invoices and define the folder where the document is stored. The name of the person is passed over to SAP Build Process Automation together with the file name and the respective folder to tell the automation where it can find the document to extract the information from. The definition ID can be retrieved from the process in SAP Build Process Automation and points the app to the right workflow. If we now move over to SAP Build Process Automation, you see a similar process like the one we built before. In this case, we defined an API trigger and defined the input variables, the employee name, the file name and the folder name. Once the process is triggered via the app, the automation extracts the information from the invoice. A decision is then used to define the approvers and in the end, the invoice is sent for approval before a confirmation or a rejection message is reaching the requester. That's in a nutshell how you can now easily integrate between SAP Build Apps and SAP Build Process Automation to leverage the combined power of mobile apps and process automation.